have. And in the display, we have the different track display. So now we are entering the display visualization part, visualization part. So here, uh, if you have so many tracks on the image, and if you show the full track always, it may look a, a little bit messy. Here we provide a drag and tail display mode for your tracks. So drag and tail basically means it only display the tracks within the specific time, either the, the last time, times or the future times. So here, if I said zero, so it only display the tracks within the last 6.5 seconds like this. So if you want to make this tail longer, you can increase you can increase this uh, time settings so it looks longer. Then in this way, you can still uh, understand or display the, the tracks here. And for this color coding, we can go to this color, color tab. For the points, points is this uh, spot. You can have a color, base color or object ID or track ID or even the statistic code like in the spot. And here you see there is a, a drop down list. You can also color code your tracks based on the statistic code. Uh, by default, we are using the time map. So here is time. And uh, along with the time, you will see a different uh, color. But if you want to uh, color code based on some statistic, for your tracks, you can also go to here and uh, for example, let's say the, the track uh, duration, track speed mean. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you can see some uh, difference, uh, track speed mean or there is some specific for the track track duration, the longer track with the, uh, oh, toward the red color or some other different statistic you can color code. Okay, so here uh, basically you can see two. So this is for the spot, this is for the track. Okay, something like that. So you can display different color, code for your spot and your track, for your object and your track. And here we have the track style. Now we are using the line, but if you want to, you can make it thicker. Or if you want to display as a cylinder for a more like 3D effect for your 3D images, you can also change the cylinder display line like this. And here we have the option to display the displacement from the end point. Let me show the full track. From the start to end the displacement with these uh, arrows. And you can change the color as well. So this will show you the displacement. All right. So we have so many uh, tracks on our images. So before we show this specific display, maybe we want to filter out our results from here. If you want, you can just filter out using some uh, statistic or if you want, you can just select the ones you want to keep, right, like this and uh, you can uh, duplicate to here. So you will looks more clean and uh, easy to understand. So that is what you can do with uh, this uh, uh, tracking uh, edit or the display in Imaris like this. So for the uh, statistic, let me just keep it this one. Uh, for the overall, it looks the same. But there is a number of spots per time point like this. So by default, you will see this view. And for some statistic, 
if this statistic will change along with time, then you will see these small icons, these plotting icons next to this statistic, which means you can uh, click here to open. So for example, this one, number of spots per time points, it changes with time. Then you will see this uh, plotting for the preview. And also there is others, for example, the intensity. Intensity mean, if this intensity mean will change with time, if you want to measure this intensity change with time, then you will see these icons here as well, which means these numbers change along with time, like this. Okay, and this is the preview of the plot. Then if you want to export the numbers for make the plotting in, for example, Excel, then you can see here, export data for plotting. So whichever statistic after tracking, uh, you change with time, you will see this icon and the list button available. So if you click this to export, let's say the desktop, uh, XML, okay, desktop, Okay, let's see, okay, already open. So Imaris will export to this format. So first column is the time, and the second column is the, the, the statistic you choose for this object. So here, all the things. So you can make the plotting very easily in Imaris. Then if you want to select multiple, multiple objects, so you can go to here, select the tracks, and select the ones you want to export. Then use this button to export all. Then if you want to select all and export all, uh, you just go to filter. So once you switch to filter, Imaris will by default select everything. Then you just go back here, then export for plotting here, from here. Okay, so you see some, uh, basically all the statistics here can can plot, can plot, okay. So that is how to make the time plot for the track statistic in, in Mars. So this is the basic uh, tracking in, in Mars. Then of course we can use also the surfaces to do the tracking is basically the, the same uh, procedure. In order to quickly show you, uh, maybe I can use this one. So here I have a, a 3D data set like this. So it moves around. And if we want to track this data set, so basically we can use also the spot. But in order to show you, I'm going to use the surface. And you can see this uh, pretty much the same surface uh, creation, 4.5, okay, so okay, like this. So in the surface, as you remember, it also it includes some morphological uh, morphology statistic. So if you want to measure this uh, morphology change with time, then you can use try to use the surface and the track it, and the, also get a statistic like um, sphericity or ellipsity or change along with time, or the volume, or the surface area, something like that, change with time. After tracking, you can get these numbers. Okay, let me remove some small ones. Then here we can also edit the surface manually before track, before tracking. So here, maybe I can use the auto regressive motion. And uh, for the 
maximum distance. I saw one moving very fast, like this one. So I will use this one. Before go to slice view, just remember to reset your view because slice view is always uh, display this way. So sometimes if you, uh, from this view, you think, oh, I, I find one moving very fast. Then if you go to slice view, then it disappears. So it's not easy to find. So just always go back to the default view and the final ones you want to focus this one. So in, in here, it's this one. So move around the Z slice to find the ones you want to target. Right, so this one, actually disappear here. All right, so it's 9.23. All right, so I'm just going to use 10. All right, gap size two. Right, like this. All right, because this one is more complicated, so you may need more uh, manual edit. So usually um, for the tracking, automatic tracking, uh, we also recommend to uh, focus on the more uh, clean pictures or the, the ones which without too much overlapping. Because even if you cannot you know, judge by your eyes, then, then this algorithm may not work good. Right? So usually we try to focus on uh, some clean part of the images and uh, get rid of those ones which is with a lot of overlapping and will cause the, the mistake in the automatic tracking. So here, if I finish, then this is the, the surface tracking. Then here in the result, you can also see the similar, similar uh, result. For example, spherosity, there is a uh, severity change with time like this you can export for plotting and then do the statistic or comparison so basically uh, spot and the service tracking are very similar very similar okay and if it's a 3d data in the position you will get a xyz as uh, z as well but if a 2d just xy just xy Okay, so I think that is the uh, tracking, basic tra tracking I want to introduce today.